Now, peeps, I told y'all the evidence was found and some people didn't want to believe me. The truth is I'm a little disappointed that you don't trust me. Now, just 24 hours ago, I released a video letting y'all know the feds indeed found some evidence in the raid. I do not clickbait, so if Lionel B says it happened, it happened. Well, just four hours ago, it's been reported exactly what was found, and I'm going to share that in this video today. Now, if you love breaking news with humor and high quality, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and watch this whole entire video as it helps me deliver great content to y'all. Now, it was just discovered that the rapper Young Miami and 50 Cent's baby mama Daphne Joy was on payroll for Diddy as sex workers. 50 Cent responded to finding out his baby mama was involved and said, I didn't know you was a sex worker. Joy, you little sex worker. LOL. And yo, this shit is a movie. Now, it's awful that their son has to witness this crazy stuff being exposed on the internet. It was revealed that Young Miami was delivering Diddy bumps of coke via private jets to help Diddy do it with his insane addiction habit. Now, court records are exposing several high-profile people that's involved with Diddy, and it appears that the list is getting longer and longer. It's too long for me. Now, Cat Williams and Sloan Bella did reveal that Diddy was going to go down. These uh, big de deviants is all catching hell in 2024. It's up for all of them. It don't matter if you Diddy or whoever you is. T.G. Jakes, any of them, the, uh, every, all lies will be exposed. That's all. But sheesh, we didn't know it was going to be this bad. God, uh! Now, the feds are building a dead to rights case against Diddy that is going to put him away forever. Now, initially, a lot of celebrities spoke out saying Diddy's raid was a witch hunt. Look at who is wishing this dude fail. You know what I'm saying? It's his own people. It's his own people cheering him, laughing, and Diddy did it, and coming up with new slogans for him. It's his own people, man. Like, so take note of this. Man, you would think the mother... He thought a year or two ago when we were popping Ciroc, he thought that we would ride or die for him, man. Like, he thought that the motherfucking world of hip hop would stay down and over, you know, especially without him having a case. Like, especially without him having a case, he would think, hey, man, they're gonna ride for me. I, I live for this hip hop. Shit. I live and die. This shit. The hip hop community is gonna ride for my innocence. He would assume, I'm sure. Say if he did that, then whatever he get, he get. But so far, I haven't seen no criminal charges. So out for that, I'ma just sit back and hope for the best. You know, I don't want to see nobody go down, man. And for people to celebrate that, love that, want to see that. I don't want anyone to confuse me for, I mean, last night before I went to sleep, I was praying. I found myself praying for Diddy's kids. I was thinking about Justin and Christian Combs and thinking about the twins who go to school with my daughter. Um, they, my daughter and his twins have been at pretty much every birthday party. And then I'm just thinking to myself, see a lot of people will go after Diddy, beat him down for whatever he's either did or being accused of, uh, allegedly. Uh, and, and then it's all about him, right? And I was thinking about the family. I was thinking about the kids. I was thinking about the stress of yesterday I went home and all of a sudden I'm in handcuffs at the house. It's, it's, it's just trying my best to see things through the lens of the kids, not just him specifically. And then I wanted him to know, regardless of what he's being accused of and going through, as Minister Louis Farrakhan said, when a man is down, don't laugh at him. Don't make a mockery of him. Don't beat him down. Don't beat him down with your words. You don't have to agree with what somebody did. You don't have to even want to be associated with what somebody did. But everybody deserves prayer. Now, however, after what the feds found is both shocking, appalling, and it's going to make a lot of celebrities that was at his parties piss off. I trusted you completely. And they're possibly gonna sue him as well. 
Now, trust me, y'all, these tapes are going to ruin lives, relationships, and careers. Now, everybody that thought that Diddy was being picked on because he was the next black billionaire to be taken down is definitely going to be in shock. I'm in shock. We all are. In a statement to the New York Post, an officer with the Department of Homeland Security said, we believe that there is a disturbing history of ex-trafficking. The officer went on to say, we are responding to concrete, detailed, explicit allegations. This is not random. We didn't choose his name out of a hat. We had allegations that we're following up on. Fez collected a number of electronic devices, including phones and cameras from Diddy's homes, associates, and a private jet. Now, Fed say the civil suits against Diddy, including Cassie, is what actually launched the investigation. You have to understand that we didn't just decide on a whim to search his homes. A federal judge had to sign off. This isn't a witch hunt, the officer continued. Feds claim that there are specific people that Diddy allegedly communicated with that they are looking for additional proof of. This actually includes photos, emails, texts, itineraries, and more. The officer says they are getting a lot of cooperation from the alleged victims. Now, Diddy hasn't actually been charged with anything while the investigation is still underway. However, the officer said he is free right now to do what he wants, but he is aware that if charges come down, we will get him. Now, guys, this is proof that Diddy is officially done for. I don't want to see you two going down and you're going down. Now, reportedly, the feds found secret tape recordings in Diddy's home. Allegedly, he appears to be a voyeur that likes to watch people on his hidden cameras he has all throughout his home. Now, producer Rodney Jones, a.k.a. Little Rod, complaint indicates Mr. Combe had hidden cameras in every room of his home. He has recordings of several celebrities, artists, music label executives, and athletes engaging in illegal activity. These individuals were recorded without their knowledge and consent. Mr. Cone possesses compromising footage of every person who has attended his freak out parties and his house parties. So guys, all the explosive allegations came out about Diddy is definitely shocking. And it looks like the feds definitely are going to get their man. So y'all drop a comment below, man. Let me know how y'all feel about this. How do y'all feel about Diddy life dissolving in front of our eyes y'all let me know how y'all feel about this man don't forget to like comment and subscribe on the videos share these videos and i'm gonna peep y'all on the next one Holla. can't get enough click on this screen to watch even more great content don't forget to subscribe to this channel and you can also catch my clips on my other channel the lionel b show clips and you can stream my audio on the go on spotify apple Podcasts, and all other major podcast platforms